I worked in the NHS as a speech and language therapist with people who've had strokes. That's in the early days in hospital straight afterwards, moving into the intensive therapy that people often get in the first few weeks and also those longer term phases at home. During the COVID pandemic, there was quite a change from face-to-face -face speech and language therapy to our new world of remote therapy and more emphasis has been placed on self-management. 11 years ago is when I stroke and couldn't spoke to anybody. Uh, most of the people around don't, can't understand me, so they turn back and they're, they're lost. So I wanted to recommend therapies for people with aphasia that I had good evidence were actually going to be effective for them when they use them at home. Um, and I also wanted to recommend things that would make a difference to everyday conversation because that's what actually improves the lives of people with aphasia. Um, and though there's good evidence for word therapies, I actually wanted to get beyond that to sentences and that's where there's less research available. Utilise is a sentence therapy developed here at UCL um, that aims to bridge this gap and build on that skill that people with aphasia often retain after stroke of being able to access frequent, meaningful phrases like, how are you? And um, could you just? So for example, if we start with, what time is it? Then we can get to, what time is the train tomorrow? The app's gone through a sequence of stages in development. So first of all, people with stroke came into the university, to the clinic, to practice a the therapy. But then we worked with a, a software company to devise a version that could be used independently at home and by people who've had little experience in using computers. We also incorporated state-of-the-art speech recognition technology into the app so that people doing the therapy could get fast and accurate feedback on their speech attempts. There's, there seem a lot of people not do anything and so if they learn out some of the computer, it's a very, very good thing for them. So being on an app means that the therapy can be really flexible to individual people's schedules. When's a good time in the day for them personally to get that practice in and get that high dose therapy we know is needed to make changes. A key thing for me about this therapy is that it works on everyday language because we know that everyday conversation is the context that stroke survivors really want to see changes in, because that's the context that underpins our social relationships and makes us feel close to the people around us. For this specific app, we will seek the views of people with stroke, uh, their family members, and also speech and language therapists on this home therapy model to understand more how it works and to get feedback and to continue to refine it. Reset is very good. Please donate today.